the Mini Cooper S Cabriolet swaggers onto the sand with a turbocharged 175 brake horsepower engine, front wheel drive and the hood from a Mary Poppins pram. While it may not be the prettiest poser, the flake in the Mini's ice cream has always been its ability to sprint and swerve like a kid running to Mr Whippy's van. But it might have met its match because the Mazda is rear-wheel drive, 200 kilograms lighter and even has a proper metal roof, if you stump up 1,500 quid. The MX-5's 2-litre engine may be 15 brake horsepower down, but does its lighter weight mean it's actually faster? First, a ride in the Pram. Now, the Mini always feels great, and chopping the roof off but it hasn't done it any harm. It still feels taut, pretty grippy, and quite rigid. Maximum power from the 1.6-litre turbocharged engine comes in at about 5,000 revs. But one of the good things is it's got plenty of torque down at low revs. On the downside, it does feel heavy when you're changing direction. That's got something to do with it. 1,300 kilograms that it weighs. And also, it's quite a hard, crashy ride. Yeah, if I'm honest, it's a bit of a tart car, but nevertheless, it's quite good fun. Anyway, let's have some fun. Time for a quick one. Start the clock. So, on the brake, down to third. Oh, it's a bit slippy there. Get a little bit of turn and oversteer. That's one of the nice things about the Mini. It's edgy, it's darty, very pointy. I mean, it's not lost any of its go-karting style. The 19 grand Mini Cooper S Cabriolet crosses the line in 45.3 seconds. Let's see how the £21,000 Mazda compares. Now, compared with the Mini, this feels very much more like a sports car. You know, it's low to the ground, it's got a long bonnet, the gear change is quite, quite snickety and notchy. OK, it's not as quick, you know, 0 to 60 takes 7.9 seconds. That's half a second slower than the Mini. But somehow, it actually feels quicker. It's certainly more fun to drive. I'm surprised to say, but I really like it. It's great fun. You know, the steering is really precise. I can feel the road better than I did when I was in the Mini. This is going to be pretty close. Time to settle it with a serious one. Start the clock. So, through the flash chicane, a little damp on the brakes, into the right-hander. Nice, neutral balance on the car. It may feel great to drive, but at the first checkpoint, the Mazda's behind by 0.2 of a second. Here we go, fast chicane, a little down in the brakes, we go left, right, feed the power in. At the second, the Mini's still ahead by 0.3 seconds. On the brakes, who are you, fighter? <laughs> it's put a smile on my face. And the Mazda finishes 0.6 of a second behind, with a time of 45.9. So, despite it feeling quicker and sportier, the MX-5 loses out to the Mini's superior power. But they're both great cars.